Trafford as the venue, and this is a confrontation with genuine historical significance. As far as this match is concerned, who's going to come out on top between Manchester United and Arsenal? Live action coming up next on EA TV. Well, it's a beautiful day for football. No complaints whatsoever on that front here at Old Trafford. I'm Derek Ray, and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Manchester United up against Arsenal. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. The lineup for Manchester United. Rafael Varane plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Declan Rice starts alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Not showing good patience. Rice. And foiled by the post. Clears it away. Well, that was a great opportunity for Arsenal to take the lead. If they continue to make chances, you feel they're going to score soon. Well, they're on the ball, and they've just got to forget about that moment of misfortune. Well, there are many who regard Bruno Fernandes as the complete footballer. Stuart, what do you think we'll see from him today? Well, he's a fantastic striker with the ball. He can generate so much pace, and when he strikes it cleanly, the ball starts to dip and swerve on its way to the goalkeeper, which is why he needs to be closed down quickly today. Good challenge and a throw in coming up. Bukayo Saka. Now with Jorginho. Saka. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. Marcus Rashford. Here's Juan Bissaka. Encouraging stuff from United. McTominay. And playing it through. Failure to keep the ball by United. Could be threatening. Well, he needed to read it to get there and did. It's going to be United's free kick. Really determined play to hang on to it. Now they have possession in a good area of the pitch. Declan Rice. Martin Odegaard. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Here's Juan Bissaka. Jorginho and it will be an Arsenal free kick Martin Odegaard 
Kai Havertz. Options in the middle. And Arsenal have won the corner as they try to take the lead. Played over. A oh, terrific piece of goalkeeping. So no more time left. That concludes the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. Well, he's got a few things right in this first half, but not everything. Well, I've been disappointed with him in that first half. He just didn't have an impact on the game. Yes, the service into him wasn't great, but his movement needs to be a lot better. Let's hope he improves in the second half. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Jorginho and Habits. Just wasn't going to part with the ball. William Saliba. Now with Jorginho. And here's Saliba. Martin Odegaard. Well, not giving the opposition a look in. That's strong play. Really good build up, but no end product. Decent position this for United to find themselves in. Got McTominay. Fernandes. How about the cross? Will that lead to the goal that puts them ahead? Rashford. Well, the attack carried an initial threat but fizzled out. McTominay. Oh, great defending. Fernandes. Using his strength to shield the ball. And possession given away. Declan Rice. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw-in. Substitution time it is here. Jorginho. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Declan Rice. Well, it's a very attractive passing sequence. Martin Odegaard. And here's Saliba. It's with Odegaard. And it's United's turn now. Diogo Dallo. Bruno Fernandes. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Martin Odegaard. Well, the United fans are making so much noise here. They believe the winner's coming, but it needs a moment of inspiration from one of those players out on the pitch. What a finale to this game we've got. Dallo. And a textbook interception. Cutting it back. Can they forge ahead? There's still danger here. 
Well, they can keep possession now. Well, what a big moment that could prove to be. The keeper's just kept them in it. What a save. Well, maybe a chance for them now to alleviate the pressure. Rice. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Oh, a goal! And is that going to be the one that wins it for them? There's every chance, and the fans are lapping this up. Well, here it is again, and the defending simply isn't good enough. They have to react quicker, deal with the danger, and show more urgency. None of which they did, and that's the result. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Manchester United know they've got to get on the front foot with time the enemy. And so there it is, the final whistle, and Manchester United have lost this game, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Yes, Derek, there was very little in it for much of the game. I'm sure they feel they deserve a point at least. And it's obviously disappointing to concede in that manner so late on. But they just have to bounce back now. Gabriel Jesus, entitled to feel very pleased on the back of this. Sum up his performance for us. Well, I thought he had a good all-round performance today. 